Hi, this is Igor from hdhead.com. After watching the DaVinci Resolve scripting intro, you may have wondered, okay, so we have a script, but what do we do with it? How do we run it? And I'll show you how to set that up on a Windows machine. There are a couple of ways to do it in Resolve. The most user-friendly way is to place a script in a place where the Fusion script menu will be able to access it. Right now it says no scripts because we have nothing there. So let's put this very simple Hello World script that all it does is it prints Hello World. It does not connect to the Resolve API. It's a Python script completely independent of Resolve. You want to type percentage sign app data, percentage sign. And once you're in this directory, click on Blackmagic Design, the Winch Resolve Fusion Scripts Comp. This is the location that the Resolve drop-down menu will be looking for when looking for scripts. We drag Hello World in there. And just so we can see that print output, I will open the console, but it's not strictly necessary to run a script. We'll go to Fusion, Script, Hello World. Ha, huh, it's grayed out. And that's probably a bug in Resolve. I see no reason why it should not be accessible from Edit page or any other page. But for some reason, you have to go to the Fusion page in order to execute these scripts. So now we're in Fusion page, Script, Hello World is accessible. And there it is. That's what our script did. Of course, this script is completely useless, so let's go back and uh, let's take a look at this load timeline script. This script will present the user with a small UI with a drop-down menu containing all the timelines in the project, where the user can select the timeline and load it. In order for that to work, we also have to drag this script, which I use in order to connect to the scripting API. Fusion script load timeline is there. I'm in a single monitor mode right now, so for some reason this opens up on the left monitor, which you're not seeing. And these are all the timelines in the project. Let's just pick any random one. It loaded the timeline and switched to the edit page. Aside from running scripts from the Fusion script drop-down menu, you can also just double-click a script and it will launch. Let's load another timeline. Okay, and you can also run a script from the command line. I'll change the directory to the place that has the scripts. And running it from a command line is as simple as just typing up the name of the script and hitting enter. And that's it. I should also mention that in Fusion proper, there are many more places where you can run scripts from. For example, you can right-click on any of the tools, go to Script, and run a script from a little uh, context menu right here. These scripts are saved in a separate location from the one I showed you, but it's, uh, it's, it's in a similar path. Another place of scripting interest in Fusion here, you can run a script every time uh, you advance a frame. When you start a render, and when you stop rendering this particular tool. And there are a couple of other places as well. So uh, Fusion is very full featured when it comes to scripting. All that is documented in the uh, Fusion scripting guide. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the scripting as much as I do and be well until the next time.